man ranked is getting sweatier and sweatier in this video i'm going to show you my top five locations to land in world's edge let's do it What's up warriors welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be talking about my top five locations to land in world's edge now ranked is has been sweatier than ever i mean it's just full of sweats guys and sometimes it's not even fun but i'm going to share with you my top five locations to help you gain that rp and hopefully help you guys out in apex legends ranked now these locations are based on my opinion on top of a few other factors that we're going to talk about in just a second but if you're new here hit that subscribe button join the warriors guys so you guys can get all the latest tips and tricks and how to improve your apex legends gameplay now let's get right into the locations all right guys welcome back we're gonna get right into my top five locations that help you guys out in apex legends on world's edge okay we did a top five locations for um king's canyon so i wanted to do another one for world's edge especially in pertaining to rank to guys help you guys get that kp or that rp help you increase those points get to master predator whatever your guys's goals are um in in season five so a few things first everything is based on my opinion on top of a few other factors and we're going to talk about those uh for the, each location so one is going to be you know tier loot of the location how good is the loot at the location that you're landing okay two is map ro like the rotation coming out of the map okay so rotatability from the landing spot that you're going to be going to and then third is the survivability of the spot or like the safety net of the spot safety versus like hostile like how hot is the drop that you're landing like how many people spawn at that location or want to drop at that location or how safe is it to drop there so those are the three factors on top of my opinion and this is the list that we came up with so the first one guys as you see in the gameplay behind us we're going to drop at all these locations the first one is geyser okay geyser is probably one of the safer spots to land inside of apex legend season 5 on world's edge it has a lot of buildings that you can land at there's like what two there's like four buildings that you can land at and uh what makes geyser such a good place is that it doesn't ha actually have the best high tier loot it's more of like a mid-tier loot area but what's great about it is is the rotations coming out of it so you can rotate out of it through the cave as you guys can see in the gameplay over to the next area which is that little campsite outside of cat old cap city um, but what's great about it is too is the rotations out of it are really good because if you decide to land here you get contested by a team you can i advise you to land in the back by the building next to this cave which you see in the in the gameplay so that way you, it's an easy rotation out so on top of the tier loot it's like a mid-tier loot area guys you have multiple buildings some bins and then you can rotate through this cave for more bins as you can see into the next village and the majority of the time nobody's landing at that village on the other side of this bunker so it makes getting enough loot for your team really good especially in ranked the third thing is is the survivability of it uh geyser is a pretty safe drop not a lot of teams like to go there because you know besides going through the tunnel like the, it's a kind of a tough rotation out i mean to go through to the left towards lava city or go straight out into you know um sorting factory it kind of makes it a little dangerous you don't want to be in the middle of the map okay so you want to maintain that edge you know kind of area so geyser still works for that and i think that rotating this way through here out to this village and then up to like overlook or into cap city to help third party makes geyser one of the best locations to land and one of the safest locations to land in season five all right guys coming in at the next landing location for uh, apex legend season five in world's edge is lava fissure okay this is probably one of my favorite drop spots in the game i think it's such an underrated location to land and i think you see a lot of pros land there too what makes lava fissure so great is the rotations that you can do out of that location but let's get into it so lava fissure has high tier loot it spawns some of the best loot in the game there's multiple levels that you can do for lava fissure there's multiple buildings you know there's different levels there's an um, almost an unlimited amount of containers that you can pop open so the le the the high tier loot that can spawn there will you know equip your team with some of the best loot in the game to you know to play for those end games and get more you know victories in apex legends so next and the most important thing is there the rotations out which i've already briefly talked about the rotations out of lava fissure are just so good i mean you can rotate to you know uh sky hook and trials you can rotate to trains you can rotate to um mirage ship i mean and then you have literally drill site right next to it the rotations out of this place are just so so good guys highly undervalued location to land 
but the biggest negative to this place as you guys can see in the gameplay is we were immediately contested this location gets contested a lot because of the high to loot and the rotations out you know it's still another location that's on the edge of the map guys but it gets contested so you need to be prepared if you're going to land there to fight you know there's very few times depending on you know the flight path of the drop ship where i get to land at this location is and it's completely free but as you guys can see there's multiple teams here there's two including us one of my teammates goes down this is just a high you know loot drop this place is just insane for loot and that's why so many teams come here so that's the only negative to this place what also makes it great is the escapability out i mean there is you know a redeploy balloon there you know you got drill site you got backwards caves that kind of connect the two locations and i mean there's just so many places that you can rotate out guys so lava fissure definitely one in my top list to land in season five all right guys coming in at the third spot is lava city we're gonna go to the other side of the map right next to geyser lava city is probably one of the most drop locations in world's edge okay and i say that especially for the pro teams you see a lot of pro teams fight over this location and it makes sense why it's again another high tier loot area okay it spawns some of the best loot in the game you're right next to a vault station and a bot spawns here so if you get the vault key it just ups the value of this location when it comes to loot multiple buildings with multiple levels you know there's bins the train station there's an outside building that connects it all i mean this place what can i say it has so much loot that you can get for your team and if you land here uncontested your team will get pretty much everything it needs for end game i mean you it, you may not get like the overall best armor for each person but you're going to get enough loot to survive almost the entire game all right next is the rotation now this is this is where it kind of takes a hit okay lava city doesn't necessarily have the best rotations out it is in the corner of the map on the edge again and i cannot you know preference that enough make sure you're landing towards the edges you do not want to land in the middle of the map and any of the locations in this list because you're going to make your team an easily third party team whenever you get into a fight there's going to be another team coming from the outside pushing in and that is something you do not want so the rotations out of here are actually kind of difficult if you go left you know if you're looking straight at the map if you go left you got the dome right i mean that's not necessarily a good place to go depending on the zone it's not easily to like get in and out of there there's no really uh balloons except for on the outside of that place so it makes rotating to the left really hard if you go through the cave and you happen to hit the vault that's really nice but then you're right next to sorting factory you're coming out right next to sorting factory and that's not a way you want to go so the only other option is to go right hit the balloon and you can head towards geyser and rotate that way through the same rotation that i gave you guys before with geyser in our number one location to land in season five so rotating out of lava city is very very difficult all right it's not easy but the loot kind of compensates for that now get into the last thing for uh, lava city is that you know it is a moderately hot drop like there is going to be you know a lot of teams that like to go here almost every single time that i've come here as you guys can see in the gameplay there's one other team here you know we land i don't think i've ever really landed at lava city uncontested by at least one team so uh be prepared to fight this place is always a really good place to land it's got the good loot again guys rotations are really tough but you're gonna fight at least one team um, it's again it's very rare that i have landed in this location uncontested but if you guys do land uncontested boy you're gonna come out with some sweet sweet loot coming in at number four guys is a highly 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 underrated map or lo map location in apex legends it used to be really good and people think that it fell off but it is refinery okay refinery is still a very good location to land at okay since the addition of the the survey camp off to the right refinery is a very very good location to land it's got one of the biggest buildings in the game guys it's still on the edge of the map spawning that high tier sweet sweet loot okay it's a very very good location to land all right right next to it is um epicenter and the new survey camp both these locations make rotating out of refinery very 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 good i mean without the addition of survey camp i would probably not have this location on the list but the rotations out of here are actually really, really good compared to almost every zone that you can have in the game. All right, you can go up to Epicenter, which also has really good loot. You can go over to Survey Camp. I mean, if you have to and go wide, you can go to uh, Skyhook. And then there's also uh, going left is, depending if the zone is really weird, you can rotate all the way left to Overlook and then go back down through uh, that little village into Geyser and rotate that way. But 
the high tier loot here is very good guys there's villa two villages on each side of refinery on top of refinery having all those bins um and then you got the rotations out rotating out again guys is very very easy it makes it almost you know unfair in a sense it's kind of like the lava fissure rotations probably the best thing about landing here is rotating out because if a team does lie, land geyser you just loot real quick you go to survey camp you can test there or if a team lands survey camp you just go to um you know epicenter and do that rotating out is just so so easy there's so many locations and again guys the spot is really good it's on the edge of the map you're not going to be in the middle again guys i cannot stress that enough about playing in apex legends you don't want to be the team that's consistently third party so landing at refinery is really really good again i want to talk about it real quick i know a lot of players have really hated this uh location ever since they kind of went away with the guaranteed armor spawns that landed here um and survey camp wasn't here at the time so that's really the best thing to land there otherwise teams were just going epicenter because the the the, t the loot that spawned there was just better but now they've upped to tier, the tier loot they've added another location to rotate to um and i can't say this enough about respawn when it comes to these maps and kind of adding things and just filling in dead space which just makes it so much better to play um, now the last thing about refinery is sometimes you get contested it's almost like a 50 50 because it's kind of so far out there compared to other locations around the edges there's other locations that are just so much closer to those you know but refinery is just that one location kind of like you know dome on the other side of the map that's just kind of out there right it's not too far but it's not too close so most teams don't want to go there so i think it's kind of like a 50 50 chance if another team is going to contest you there it's a relatively safe location it's probably the safest location that to land that i have in this list so land at refinery guys is still a really good spot to land check it out all right guys last and certainly not least we're at the back end of this gameplay um on this particular spot but i wanted to show this because it's just super intense but the last location on the map or on this list for apex legend season 5 and world's edge is thermal station okay thermal station is just one of those locations where so many teams go the the tier loot is at the highest level there's so much loot you can get there it's in the corner of the map I mean, it is just one of the best spots to land in Apex Legends, okay? In this gameplay, we're towards the end. The end circle is going to end here, but I wanted to show this because it's just crazy. But the tier loot, again, high tier loot. You're going to get some of the best loot in the game for your team at this location. On top of the main thermal part of the station, you have the little train part up there where the train lands. You have the, the village off to the right, and then you got the village behind, which is next to where we're at in this gameplay. I mean, there is just so much loot you can get here. Just so much sweet, sweet loot. It makes it almost, you know, a kind of a question like why wouldn't i never drop here like why would i not just go to thermal station because it's just so much good loot okay on top of the loot guys rotating out is relatively again it's kind of like um you know refinery in a way it's kind of off to the side it, it doesn't make rotations easy because you can go tree but that puts you towards sorting factory which makes you put essentially in the middle of the map which is tough if you go left then you're next to mirage station which isn't bad that's probably the best rotation out is probably going to mirage rotating that way towards lava fissure train station and drill site but rotating out is definitely not the best okay um when it comes to the zones the majority of the zones are always off to the side there's rarely few that can you know help you rotate out of the thermal station that's so that's probably the worst thing that you have here uh landing at this location last is contestant this place gets contested constantly now there is some weird cases where the dropship is coming straight thermal station is the first one on it we drop and we get completely uncontested which is just weird because even if a team lands in the middle it's great because there's the two villages off to the side. You can literally, oh, a team is gonna land first in the middle, we're gonna land at the village in the back. Oh, a team's gonna land there and a team's gonna land at the village, we'll go to the village to the right, which you can see on the screen right now. Like, there's enough loot landing at three different sections of thermal station, which makes it worth landing. Like, and you could just rotate out early or just third party. So contesting here is probably the second worst thing. You're gonna get contested a lot when you land here. Um, teams that land at tree that's an easy rotation over the same thing with mirage so you need to be very very you know conscientious conscientious i can't speak today you know you need to be very conscious <laughs> about teams that land at tree and at mirage voyage okay 
thermal station pulling up the last location on the list guys i really hope that this list has helped you out and i hope you guys drop in some of these locations a lot more often let me know down in the comments which spot is your favorite spot to land in apex Legends season 5 especially for ranked since we're on the ranked uh split two you know we're playing world's edge all the time let me know which location is your favorite to land at all right guys thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope it has really helped you out i always like doing these i'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable on camera doing these videos guys so i appreciate all the support that you guys have given me i hope this video has helped you out and i hope that these locations really help you win some more games and help you get some more rp and ranked i know i didn't go into a whole lot of detail about you know how to kind of get out of these but i just gave you guys examples of why these locations are just really really good in world's edge all right if you did enjoy the video make sure thumbs up guys let's hit that i think we hit like 22 likes on the last video but it's only been a day so let's try to get to 25 likes on each of my videos guys that really does help me out if you're new here make sure to subscribe and join the warriors guys so you guys don't miss out on all the tips and tricks to help you improve your apex legends gameplay and as for me warlog as always guys Stay gaming. I'll guys catch you out in the Apex games. Have a good one. Peace.